Now, what can we do? At least, you know, whenever we go out for an outing, whenever you go, whenever you go out near any kind of water, like water bodies, maybe a dam, maybe a river, maybe a lake. Do not throw anything. Do not throw anything inside any kind of water bodies. Why? Because that water in one or the other way is going to reach to the to one or the other home. Okay. So it is going to affect our health. Try to understand that because you know in general you might have seen many people who like you can see we can understand that these people are educated but still if they eat something they are going to throw the leftovers if they are moving around some water bodies they are going to throw that particular part left over into the water i don't know what uh, they do this thing for what joy of their life but they do it okay so avoid this thing avoid throwing rotten materials into water avoid throwing any kind of garbage into the water avoid uh, throwing uh, the flowers which are being used for the god into the water nothing goes wrong if you feel something like that you can uh, put it into the soil okay it will decompose and it will become the part of the manure it will be good for the plants of your garden don't throw it into the water again uh, the whatever wrappers okay suppose you are moving you are eating any kind of product and then the wrappers are left don't throw in short do not throw anything into the water why because it is going to pollute water in one or the other way see children what is the problem water is a universal solvent okay i hope you all know the meaning of what universal solvent that means most of the most of the substances they get dissolved okay into the water and so water is known as universal solvent now when all these substances get dissolved into the water then what happens the quality of the water okay what what it give rise to it changes physical chemical and and biological properties of of water changes okay what happens when all such kind of waste is thrown into water or when water gets polluted what happens actually so physical property of the water will change chemical property of the water will change and also the biological property of the water will change and thus what happens when the water what we need or what we want or what we know what as it doesn't remain as that water and get changed okay it get changed means not like that a new compound is formed but the qualities of the water get changed can we drink such kind of water no we cannot and what will happen if we drink or we consume such kind of water obviously what will happen it will give rise to certain diseases i will not write the name of the diseases because we have already discussed like uh, when the water gets polluted and when polluted water is consumed then it give rise to many diseases like maybe typhoid cholera jaundice hepatitis dysentery so all these diseases are water borne diseases and uh, obviously the person is going to be uh, into the uh, you know they are going to uh, they are going to have such kind of diseases when water is polluted okay so water should not be like how can we say like this water or the water which we are consuming what we have we are taking is uh, polluted or the water which we are consuming is not polluted how can we judge okay 
so there are certain so there are certain characteristics of water which has to be i i I'll write over here features okay of or characteristics of water which kind of water drinking water okay see which kind of water you want you don't want to uh, have which kind of water you don't want to drink obviously the water will if the water has the kind of kind of smell if it is having certain kind of uh, color i'm sure you won't like to drink it okay so how drinking water should be how what are the features so first of all the drinking water should be colorless it should not have any kind of color okay neither uh, blue nor nothing it should be plain it should be transparent okay it should be colorless transparent orderless now what's the meaning of orderless children orderless means it should not have any kind of smell it should not have any kind of smell into it when i say smell means it should not have either a good smell or a bad smell okay then what can be the next one it should not have any kind of salts into that see there are certain things when we talk about you know, water there are certain minerals which are, which are they are dissolved in the they are present in the form of they are dissolved in water but there are certain harmful salts okay which if are present in drinking water then we can say that this water is not good for uh, drinking purpose which kind of salts it can be it can be salts of salts of nitrates urea okay etc so should not be salts of nitrates urea etc should not be should not be present okay should not be present then what we discussed we have discussed that it should be colorless then it should be orderless it should be transparent okay then it should be free of harmful microbes it should be free from harmful microbes okay then it should be it should be good in taste see you will say water doesn't have any taste i agree to that that's what i'm saying that it should not have any kind of particular taste in that okay taste of maybe some uh, sometimes you know when chlorine is added to the water you will find like when you drink water you can smell that uh, pungent smell okay you can identify like yeah something is there in water today uh, and when when we talk about taste even you can understand oh some different taste is coming in the water like there should be no taste okay uh, it should not be tasteless means i'm not saying that it uh, like it in it short when you drink water it should be of pleasing taste okay neither it, it can be uh, salty or sweet or bitter it should be pleasant in taste okay now what can be the next one no microbes if i have written microbes then should be should be free of 
germs. Okay, it should be free of germs. I have written microbes over here. Okay, so it should be free of germs, and it should also be free of impurities. Should be free of impurities. If water has all these thing, that means the thing which has to be present in that. And the things which should be absent in that, if it follows the water which you are drinking, if it has these kind of features, then it can be good for drinking purpose. One more thing, oxygen, okay, the oxygen dissolved or dissolved oxygen should be there. That means water what you are drinking should even have dissolved oxygen into it. So what are the things, what are the characteristics, what are the features which one has to see in drinking water. Salts of nitrates, urea etc should not be present. That means all these are which kind of salts, these are harmful salts which should not be present in the drinking water. Then Water should be obviously it should be colorless, it should be odorless that means no smell should be there, it should be transparent. Would you like to drink water which is not transparent? You cannot, you obviously you need to see uh, to the other side of the water. Right? So it should be transparent, it should be free of harmful microbes, it should not have any, any kind of germs. It should be good in taste, I just now explained you, it should be of pleasing taste and O2 or the oxygen should also be there in the drinking water. Now what uh, drinking water I am saying from when drinking water, drinking water. So what is the other name for drinking water? You all know that drinking water is also known as potable water. Okay. So, what is the meaning of potable water? Potable water. What is the meaning of potable water? Potable water should be free of germs and microbes. Okay. In short, I can say if all these things uh, features, if, what, if the particular water body's water is showing, then I can say that water is potable water. So in short how can we define potable water? Water which is water which is fit for drinking is known as is known as potable water. Okay. Which kind of water? Water which is fit for drinking. That means the water which we can have, the water which we can drink okay. and uh, it will not be creating any kind of diseases or problem in our body is known as potable water. So water which is fit for drinking is known as potable water. Now you know to convert this polluted water into potable water it take lots and lots of efforts. You know actually you talk about any river, any river especially I know about my country, our country okay all the rivers are polluted, polluted to great extent. Ganga, when we talk about Ganga, Ganga is one of the very like I, I can say very important river Ganga okay uh, see as soon as the name Ganga comes okay uh, we all know religious uh, Lee re religiously also Ganga is very very important and this is also one of the main reason why Ganga is getting 
polluted. See, when we talk about other rivers, like when I talk about Agra, okay, the river in Agra, I am not talking about now Ganga, okay, the river in Agra is also very polluted, almost it has converted into a, uh, a big, uh, you know, uh, I should say a Nala sort of thing. The water is almost black, it is blackish. Why it is so? Because many factories, as we have discussed in air pollution, many factories are there, chemical factories are there, oil refineries are there, okay. So, all these factories are releasing their waste into water uh, bodies, into that river and so, the river around the Agra is so polluted, okay. It depends from place to place also. See, uh, suppose if I take the example of Kanpur, okay, suppose I need to rub now. Suppose if I take the example, there is no place to write also. Suppose if I take the example of Kanpur, okay, when I take the example of Kanpur, there are many factories, okay, there are many factories which are running in Kanpur, okay, maybe chemical factory, paper factories, oil refinery, many factories are there. At the same time, uh, at Kanpur, the river is also not so, uh, like it is not so broad. The flow is also very less, okay, are you getting me? The amount of water which is flowing there, it is not, like the flow is not very fast, it is not so broad, that means the amount of water is less and on the top of that, lot of pollution is being created and is being added, is being added, it get mixed up in the water and it pollutes the water like anything, okay. So, now what has to be done, children what has to be done, how to stop this pollution, just imagine we know that this rivers, this water, uh, the, uh, this rivers are very very important for us, water is very very impo important for us, but still we are polluting water like continuously to an extent that it has become so difficult to make this rivers pollution free. It is really difficult to make this river pollution free. When I talk about Ganga, a plan, okay, a plan was launched for river Ganga, a action plan Okay, in 1985, in 1985, action plan for Ganga was launched. Okay, now when we talk about river Ganga, it is very important river when talk especially for India. It has its religious importance, it has its economic importance, okay, not, any, not only this, many people are associated or related uh, with the river in one or the other way, that means their livelihood is connected to the river Ganga in one or the other way, okay. But the people who resides near river Ganga, they, they throw all kind of garbage into Ganga. As I told, in India we have got uh, high religious value for river Ganga. It is being, uh, it is a super, like I, I can say the superstitious, the people who are too much, like you know orthodox, too, too, too much of orthodox, uh, uh, I can say cut. So, I was discussing, I was saying like we have religious importance of river Ganga also, but the people who are very superstitious, what they do? They even throw the dead bodies into the river Ganga, the, the leftover, the ash of uh, the people after dying, after burning, after dying when the people are burned, the ash has been collected. And still people believe that it has to be thrown, it has to be the part of river Ganga and if the ash 
is mixed up in river Ganga after death that can be the one uh, you know way to get moksha ok. So, because of all this kind of thoughts people uh, bring the ash and they uh, put it into river Ganga flowers whatever is used for the god and goddesses are thrown in river Ganga all sort of garbage industrial waste domestic waste sewage everything is allowed to get mixed up with river Ganga. Now, the level of pollution of Ganga has increased to a great extent ok. Now, it has to be cleared up. So, what government did? Government launched a plan in 1985 ok and uh, through, uh, through this plan like, like in this plan many uh, strategies were brought made different ways made different areas uh, were focused on ok like the solid solid waste uh, should not be dumped into this some the river areas should be developed properly beautification of uh, the areas which are near the river banks ok the uh, sewage water which is being mixed up into Ganga needs to be treated they used to treat it ok means treat means they it was brought up into the filter the uh, the cleaning pumps the fil the uh, water filtering pumps uh, plants and then from there it was released into the river Ganga. So, this was a plan for launched for river Ganga which is a very big river which is very important religiously and many measures was measures were followed to clean this river Ganga you know in fact after this plan many other plans were also uh, brought ok like uh, say for example Yamuna action plan Yamuna just now before this I was discussing about Yamuna river only. So, even Yamuna action plan was uh, brought it came into existence. So, likewise the uh, strategies are being made to clean uh, the rivers, but just one question comes in my mind if you have to keep the like we need now the plans are being launched to clean the rivers when we have to clean it then why we have to make it dirty why we have to pollute the rivers when we know these rivers are our life ok. Just imagine if Ganga is not there in India if Ganga dries up then what will be left in India ok I am talking about rivers how life will continue. So, it is our responsibility it is our duty to keep water reservoirs water bodies rivers and lakes clean ok. So, this was a part of uh, cleaning water bodies uh, which was launched by Indian government. Now, what and how water reaches to us before we drink water ok before the water comes into our tap it undergoes various procedures it undergoes various uh, you know uh, parts of the plant and then it becomes free of germs then it becomes free of different kind of microbes and then then sorry then we can say that you know, water which we are getting is good. So, how can we uh, get such kind of water what is being done what are the different procedures which are carried uh, to make water pure we will just have a look on that. So, just I will rub this.